Oh my god, it's getting so cold. That's that's the birthday weather. At least it's gonna be sunny though. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Um, oh well. Gives me an excuse to use my coat all day. So, um, actually, no, this morning, like, yeah, this morning of the 11th, it was like 15 degrees in my house. I bring my coat to school, and then it's like 40 degrees and sunny, and I'm just like, ah, I can't wear it now because it's, it's a black coat, and it's, yeah, it's, it's just too warm, too warm. But, um, yeah, kind of in that awkward awkward stages like the cold weather in Alaska where it like it gets cold but it's also like like it gets cold and, like you want to wear a coat in the morning because it's just it's cold in your car you know my big truck out there doesn't heat up that fast um but yeah that like oof it's it's bad it's like that awkward stage because you're like your your car doesn't you know it doesn't heat up that fast so you're like, okay, I need the coat because it's going to be cold. Or whenever you go to the bus, you get back from school, it's hot. You know, not really hot, but not coat weather. So it's kind of weird, a little awkward. It's like 22 outside right now. Um, I, I love how they always forecast these lows like 30 degrees or whatever. And then it gets way colder than that, you know, on this side, on the east side of town. It gets, it's like 15 degrees colder than what's forecasted it's really weird like it's t probably 10 degrees colder over the region but like locally like in little tiny spots it can be like 15 degrees colder which is what always happens out here so but yeah we're uh we're expected to get some snow soon actually some places are saying uh, there's a 70% chance. As I've told you guys, we could get up to six inches. That's changed. It's like five inches now. Um, it and it gradually gets more. The west side of town generally doesn't get too much snow. The east side, once you get close to the mountains, the elevation starts to get up. And you get more snow. Not to mention it's also a little colder. Um, so it does snow earlier on the east side, I think. Uh, but generally, the whole town gets snow on the same day. Uh, so, let me actually see, uh, okay, so, let's see, this right here, I think, yeah, let's see, see right now, it's just like, alright, it's all good, starts to get some snow chances, more snow, more snow, and snow up to three inches Monday night, snow up to two inches on Tuesday and one inch on Tuesday night. So that's six inches. And let's see what the actual airport is supposed to get. Yeah, see the airport's just supposed to get like two inches, like you know, three inches of snow on the west side. But then as you get over to the east side, you get to upwards of six, seven inches. I'm ready. I'm ready for the snow this time. Like not not this much snow. That's how much we got last time. I'm ready for like that much snow. That'll be awesome. Uh, then I'll break out the coat, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the snow won't melt. Uh, it depends on how sunny it gets, but uh, 30 degrees is gonna be kind of hard to melt it without the sun. So hopefully it keeps it cold too. Because usually once the snow once the snow fell last year, that's when our that's when we started seeing below zero temperatures because the air was so cooled by it. So yeah, huge weather talk. Hopefully. Hopefully it, it snows, because I'm, I'm ready for it, I guess. I'm going to go longboarding uh, probably tomorrow and Saturday as much as I can. And then, then the stormy snow weather starts, and then if it doesn't stick to the street, then I guess I'll be longboarding for two weeks longer, and then it'll snow again, and road will be covered, and winter will start. TV trivia game show where you can win up to $150 in cash. Zeus. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, oh, let me stretch real quick. What are you doing? Stinky. You need a bath. You stink. Yeah, your nub's wagging. Your nub's wagging. We need to pick up your poop tomorrow outside the backyard. Luckily, it's still frozen because it didn't melt today. Because it's too shady back there, huh? 
Ah, oh, so your, your poo will be melt or your poo will be frozen. We can go pick it up. And if not, next week I'm pretty sure it's never gonna f like thaw out because it's gonna be so cold. So we get to pick up your poo. We get to pick up your poo. You little peeps and boops. Oh. This puppy's tired. You ready for bed? Are you ready for bed, Zeus? Get up there. Go. Oh, by the way, the paper that I was writing finished it. Well, kind of. I finished the rough draft, which I. That's why I'm up so late. It's like 1:30 now. Spent like two hours trying to work on it. It's really hard when you didn't read the book, so you have no idea what you're talking about. You gotta formulate things as non-internet helped me as you can, you know. Um, but this is nearly a thousand words. It's about. I think 993 words, so it doesn't have a conclusion yet. It's just seven words shy of a thousand, thousand word thing. So, see, like I said, I don't hit thousands very often. Um, but that's actually no, a thousand is probably about my average. So, yeah, you know, content rather than volume. But, um, yeah, so. I feel like I was restating myself a lot in it though, but uh, that, that that's done, the rough draft and the actual things due Monday, and I have a chemistry thing that was assigned to me a month ago and recommended to take a month, I'm going to try doing that in the weekend. Fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. It's done. And that's, I think, a 11th or 12th grade paper, maybe even beyond that. 13, I don't know. Some of the quotes incorporated in there make it, uh, make it a little bit of a more lower grade level. Hey, throw these away. They're both empty. Dr. Pepper. Love Dr. Pepper. If they sponsored me, I would be so happy. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, you better sponsor me. Just kidding. That, that'd still be cool, though. Okay, dog. Get in bed. Come on. It's time for bed. It's time for bed. Let me just lay down right here. I need to turn off this heater. The good thing about the winter time is I can keep the heater on as much as I want. And when it gets way too hot, just move these curtains out of the way. Didn't have these curtains last year, so I didn't have this problem. And deep freeze the room. Oh. It's getting wet right there. I think there might be some ice on my window soon. And you just open the window and let the 20 degree Alaskan air do its job. Oh, this works too. Yep. Okay, that was a huge one take clip, so I'm gonna go to bed now. Good night.